While he's now a happily married man, Jax Taylor was once one of Vanderpump Rules eligible bachelors. And he certainly had fun with the title, and several co-workers. From dating cast member Stassi Schroeder, to hooking up with her then-best friend and co-worker Kristen Dute, to dalliances with co-workers Laura Lee and Vale Bloom, and even a short flirtation with Lala Kent, who denies they ever actually hooked up, Jax earned his reputation as a bit of a ladies' man. Watch Vanderpump Rules on Peacock and the Bravo app. Still, many of those women told him him some version of Vale's statement from Season 3, Episode 10, You're Hard Not to Love. You're very lovable. Meanwhile, Jax said in a confessional during that episode I am basically telling her I am the worst person you could talk to, or date for that matter. I am like poison. Keep reading to take a look back at Jack's relationship history, including his marriage to Brittany Cartwright. Stassi Schroeder and Jax Taylor Stassi Schroeder and Jax Taylor on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen When Jax Taylor joined VPR in Season 1, he and Stassi Schroeder were one of the show's main couples. Me and Jax just kind of bring everyone together, Stassi said in the show's premiere. The boys are drawn to him, and the girls are drawn to me, so we just kind of led the pack. Jax also gave some insight into their relationship, noting they moved in together on their third date. Stassi and I have been dating for about two years. I've never had a girlfriend like her before. She's a tough cookie, he shared in the same episode. She's extremely intelligent. I think that's maybe why I love her so much. We have a heated passion. Their happiness, however, was short-lived once cameras started rolling. During season one, rumors began to swirl that Jax had cheated on Stassi while on a trip to Las Vegas, a fact he eventually confirmed. They broke up over the allegations, briefly reunited during season two, and then split for good. Did Jax Taylor sleep with Kristen Dute? Jax Taylor and Kristen Dute on Watch What Happens Live at Andy Cohen in Season 2, gossip centered around Jax's hookup with Stassi's best friend, Kristen Dute, and he eventually confessed that they two had hooked up while watching the movie Drive. Years later, Tom Schwartz revealed that the couch on which Jax and Kristen had hooked up on was still in Tom Sandoval's apartment as of Season 4. He got it steam cleaned three times, the TomTom -tom co-owner said. Unsurprisingly, the hookup was a major point of contention in Jack's relationship, and Kristen's best friendship, with Stassi Schroeder. Jax Taylor and Laura Lee filling Stassi's role in Jack's life who can forget Laura Lee. Before she left VPR to star in a movie with Jennifer Aniston, Laura was a server who Jax turned to amid a fight with Stassi in Season 1. While the Juilliard grad's relationship with the model didn't last long, he broke it off before the end of the season. It's a fan-favorite VPR plot point. So much so that fans often ask the cast what Laura Lee is up to. Jax Taylor and Tiffany Matthews' extended scene Jack's maybe breakup Tiffany Matthews tends to always be looped in with another girlfriend of Jack's. Carmen Dickman, probably because he was dating both women at the same time. I am trying to be honest with both of these girls. I don't want to lose either of them, Jax told Sandoval during Season 3, Episode 2, while noting that, if he had to choose between the women right now, he'd choose Tiffany. Tiffany and I, we get along really well, he said. She's a little bit older. She gets me a little bit more. The reason Tiffany and Jax didn't get closer was because Tiffany lived in Las Vegas, where she worked at the Bellagio. 
Still, she made her way to Los Angeles and appeared on VPR. Jax Taylor and Carmen Dickman Jax breaks up with Carmen about a week after Jax started dating Tiffany. He met Carmen, whose name he eventually had tattooed on his arm. The duo first connected at Sir while Carmen was out to dinner with her father. After I finished dinner, I went to the bar for a drink. Jax and I ended up talking for about four hours, closing down Sir. The rest is history, she told Radar Online in February 2014. He definitely has a bad boy side. Their relationship lasted approximately two months, after which Carmen announced their breakup on Twitter. Jax Taylor and I are no longer together. It was a mutual agreement and an amicable split, she wrote in March 2014. Still, they ended up partying together in Vegas a few months later, even visiting Tiffany at her place of work. During Season 3 Episode 2, Jax tried to break up with the student during a pizza date, but got schooled by her instead. I am sorry, am I missing something? You told me you wanted me to have your babies a day ago. You tattooed my freaking name on your arm, she said. After this, I don't want to see you again. I don't like you. You're 35 years old. Stop with the partying. Get focused. Get on track. Get your life together. I want a man that's motivated to do good things, and motivated to make me a priority in his life. Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright Jax and Brittany attend the Vanderpump Rules Season 10 Reunion Watch Party on June 7, 2023. Photo. Bravo Jax and Brittany met in Vegas in 2015 prior to Season 4, when the Southern Belle joined the show and quickly made the rest of the cast fall in love with her as well. Related all the ups and downs of Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright's relationship she's humble and kind, something many people in L. A. Lack. Kristen told Glamour magazine in December 2018, noting that Brittany is everything she could want in a best friend. She's kind, sympathetic, trustworthy. My favorite thing about Brittany is her zest for life. She never fails to make me laugh. Her energy is contagious. Jax and Brittany went through their ups and downs, and then it came out on season 6, episode 2 that Jax had cheated on Brittany with their co-worker. Brittany famously told him to, rot in hell, and the two broke up season 6. However, the two confirmed they were back together in December 2017, shortly after Jax's father passed away. He was very persistent and did not give up, Brittany explained to E. About their reunification in May 2018. There, were, sometimes, sorry to say this Jax, but I would have like 30 missed calls from him. He just wasn't going to give up on me. And I knew that I loved him still. I was trying to act like I didn't, but in the end, I am just so glad that we are where we are now. The pair got engaged in June 2018 and were married in June 2019, a year after their engagement, at a castle in Kentucky, with their wedding filmed for Vanderpump Rules. Are Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright still together? Yes, Jax and Brittany are still together. They had an adorable son, Cruz Michael Couchy, in 2021 and just opened a sports bar in Studio City, California. They announced the venture on their podcast, When Reality Hits with Jax and Brittany, in August 2023. It is going to be called Jax's Studio City. We started construction on Monday and I am really excited. 
We are finally going to have a neighborhood sports bar, Jax shared. I know in the past I said that owning a bar is basically a marriage killer, but the difference is, Brittany is, involved just as much as I am. My wife is involved just as much as I am. We have 100% say in what is going on, and she is doing the decorating. He said it many times, and it has freaked me out ever since this project came to be a possibility for us, Brittany added. It is called Jax's, but it is mine too. And you are not going to be there 24-7. It is going to be kid-friendly during the day. Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright of Vanderpump Rules smile in matching hoodies on Brittany's Instagram story. Photo. Brittany Cartwright, Instagram Where do Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright live? Jax and Brittany revealed on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in April 2019, that they had purchased their first home together, a $1. 9 million abode in Valley Glen, California. The 3,800-square-foot farmhouse-style home has five bedrooms, five-and-a-half bathrooms, and a gorgeous pool with a fancy cabana. The couple currently resides there with their son Cruz. Jax Taylor dishes on his new home What did Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright do post Vanderpump Rules? In 2023, they launched their podcast, When Reality Hits with Jax and Brittany, hosted three Watch with the Cast special of Season 10, Episodes 10, 11, and 12 of Vanderpump Rules, opened a sports bar in Studio City, and Jax appeared on E.S. House of Villains.